Nature doesn't care, so why do you? You see these trees, they are perfectly still at the roots, but when you look at their branches and their leaves, they are moved by the wind. Just like the weather moves these leaves, other people control your emotions. You are just like a leaf. External circumstances can move you however they wish. The opinion of others change how you feel. Other people take away your peace. You are a feather in the wind. Do you accept that? Now your mind probably says, no, 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 I don't accept that. But the truth is, you do. You have accepted for all your life that your internal state is affected by external circumstances. Because if you truly didn't accept that, it would have changed by now. After all these years, you would have found something to be unshaken by anything or anyone. But you didn't. And this is not bad, it's just the truth. And in fact, it only got worse over the years, isn't it? I mean, when I was a kid, I couldn't care less about wearing ugly clothes. But when you grew older, adults started to condition you with these societal beliefs. The belief that wearing sandals with white socks is ugly. And you started to believe that, not because you want it, but because it just seemed normal. It even happened without your permission. After all, everyone around you believed in the same thing. If everyone tells you, or even more subtle, implies that only losers wear sandals with white socks, of course you don't want to be a loser. This is what we call conditioning. Just like a dog, you got conditioned to believe that blue is for boys and pink is for girls. But to the blind person, everything is black. So my question to you, how peaceful would you be if you were both deaf and blind? The serious person may pause here and really let that sink in. By the way, I'm Jordan, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 45 people, and I started making videos in 2012, and I'm showing how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom, and find peace in my life. I'm only sharing this because people seem to care about numbers, but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters. And it is easy to defend yourself against a crocodile in front of you, but impossible to defend yourself against a snake camouflaged next to you. The snakes are your friends, family, and colleagues. Before I explain, do you see what just happened in your mind? You associate the word snake with bad because you're so conditioned. Words are poisoned by society. Isolation is the remedy. And everyone around you tells you what they believe, not what is true. And their words seep into your brain without permission. You're not even aware, are you? That's why as we get older, we care about so many different things. On a side note though, some people will get older and close to death seem to stop caring, possibly because they have realized they are going to die, not in a far distance future, but soon, and that nothing really matters. This is why near-death experiences are so powerful. You see, we all know we are going to die, but no one acts like they're going to die, because it's easier to live in the now, to ignore the inevitable, to push it somehow. This brings me to the point of why you care about others in the first place because the pain of change is greater than the pain of staying the same and you care so much because of conditioning the way to stop caring is to break this conditioning but the greatest need always succeeds and your desire for validation so far has been greater than the pain you felt of being dependent on others and this whole journey of detachment is done alone in isolation because you don't need more conditioning, you need less. And the truth is that 99% of people who are watching this do not want to spend this time alone because lonely is bad, social is good, which is just another belief seeped into your brain as you got older. You're constantly distracting yourself from asking the important question. Even when you're watching this, you're hiding yourself from the corner in your room, in the corner where you can find the answers you've been looking for, the corner that has been waiting for you all your life. It's the isolated corner where the serious person sits down and finds the root of the matter, the source of the emotion, the truth in a room full of lies. So if you really want to stop caring, don't believe me. Always just ask yourself, did the people around me make me care less or more about the opinion of others? Or did meditation or breathing techniques give lasting results? Did your mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, husband, wife, boyfriend got you closer to inner peace? Or did they lead you astray without realizing it? I don't have the answer, only you know.
and you care because you are so conditioned. So the serious person spends more time alone. Not because I say so, but because he realizes to stop caring, he needs to break this conditioning so that he finally see things for how they really are. To discover truths in a world full of lies and finally become free. That's it. Only the serious person may check the show notes. And because I like writing, here's my poem about the essence of it all. Others' opinions reaching with ease, stealing away your inner peace. Years pass by, conditioning takes its toll. Societal beliefs shape your very soul. Family, friends, camouflage their lies. Their words like venom poison the skies. They're not bad, they're not evil. It's just that their minds, like many, are feeble. Why do you care, the serious asks with a sigh. Is it fear of change or the ease to comply? For the serious spends time alone, not by decree, to break free from conditioning, to finally see. Talk soon.